President of France Emmanuel Macron on May 16, 2022 named Labour Minister Elizabeth Bourne as Prime Minister to lead his ambitious reform plans. She is the first woman to head the French government in over 30 years. Outgoing French Prime Minister Jean Castex earlier handed his resignation to the President. This is seen as part of a widely expected reshuffle to make way for a new government in the wake of Mr. Macron's re-election in April. The last woman premier, Edith Cresson, briefly headed the cabinet from May 1991 to April 1992 under President Francois Mitterrand. Ending weeks of speculation, the Elysee confirmed Ms. Bond's nomination in a statement and she then headed to the Matignon residence of the Premier in Paris for the handover with Castex. The departure of Mr. Castex, who was a surprise choice for the role in 2020, enables Mr. Macron to reshape the cabinet ahead of crucial parliamentary polls in June. The new government under Ms. Bond is expected to be announced in the next days. The centrist Macron will need a legislative majority to push through his domestic agenda following his re-election, with a new left-wing alliance and the far-right threatening to block his program. Speculation has been rife in recent weeks about Mr. Castex's replacement with Mr. Macron, indicating he wanted a woman with left-wing and environmental credentials. Those criteria reflect his desire to focus on schools and health in the early part of his second term, as well as the climate crisis which he has promised to prioritize. 61-year-old Ms. Bond is seen as an able technocrat who can negotiate prudently with unions, as the president embarks on a new package of social reforms that notably include a rise in the retirement age which risks sparking protests. A French presidential official who asked not to be named described Ms. Bond as a woman of conviction, action and realization, noting her capacity to carry out reforms. She is also said to be a remarkable person with great experience in the public and private sectors. She is a very good choice because she is a remarkable person, not because she is a woman, many opined. In France, it's common for presidents to have more than one prime minister during their terms. The new prime minister's first mission will be able to make sure that Macron's centrist party and its allies do well in France's parliamentary election in June. The vote scheduled for two rounds will determine which group holds the majority of seats at the National Assembly, which has the final say over the Senate in France's lawmaking process. Macron also promised a bill addressing the rising cost of living in France, where food and energy prices are surging. It will be prepared by his new government and is expected to be presented just after the parliamentary election. If Macron's party wins a majority in the assembly, the prime minister will then need to ensure that pension changes promised by the president are put into law, including raising the minimum retirement age from 62 to 65. The proposed changes have been criticized by the workers, unions and left-wing voters. Macron also had promised that the new prime minister would be directly in charge of green planning, seeking to accelerate France's implementation of climate-related policies. Macron vowed to go twice as fast in his second term to curb greenhouse gas emissions.